Hello there guys, so if you've heard about Life and Success, you have heard about 3D Touch. But the question is, what is it? So let's have a look at this piece of Lego, green, yellow and red. What does it say about 3D Touch? Well, green is light pressure, and that is when you touch your display. Yellow is for when you do that a little bit harder, and red is for when you squeeze down the display. That is 3D Touch. So let's have a look and see how it applies on the iPhone. So on the home screen, on the lock screen here, you see um, we have those butterflies. If you press them, nothing happens. If you long press them, nothing happens. But if you squeeze them like this, if you hard press, they are going to move. Boom, look at that. The harder I press, the more they move. That's cool. So how is that useful in any sane way other than impressing your friends with a moving butterfly? Well, you can hard press the camera app like this or the phone app and see your favorite contacts taking, take a selfie or record a video. You can also write a new message in email or an alarm clock. You can also write a new note. A lot of shortcuts directly on your home screen. And inside of apps like the phone app, you can write an email to a contact by hard pressing the name. Or you can also do a call or write a new message. Definitely cool. Inside an app like Messages, you can peek at links by softly hard pressing. That's weird, but yes, if you press on the link, you can take a peek, and if you like it, you can pop it open. Like that, by pressing even harder. So, that's peek and pop in messages and links all around the place. Even in notes, if you have a link right there. You can also do... Some stuff like accessing the app switcher by hard pressing on the edge of the screen like this and boom, you're inside the app switcher. That's also cool. And one thing you really need to do before you use 3D Touch is you go to General. Take this as a piece of advice. General, Accessibility. And down, down, down to 3D Touch, you are gonna switch 3D Touch sensitivity from medium to light. Believe me, do it. You don't want to ruin the, all the fubby coding you have on your screen. So that is 3D Touch in a nutshell. But the question is now, is that it? Of course not. Like, look at this. This is stock apps. This is what Apple has given to us. But developers are definitely going to take care of 3D Touch and make 3D Touch their own. Like, look at what Instagram did, for instance. They applied this 3D touch peek and pop feature we have here. You can look at pictures, you can peek at them, and if you like it, boom, you can pop it open. If you don't, well, then leave it and go further on. This makes stalking people a lot easier and it's also a lot funnier to do it rather than opening the picture and then going back again if you don't like it. Now you can see it in like this medium format. This definitely adds this third dimension to the iPhone and that's definitely something I appreciate. And when developers are use it more and more, you're definitely going to have a lot of features to use and it's going to be so awesome to 3D Touch stuff. So that was a quick little look at 3D Touch and I hope you enjoyed because I enjoyed doing it for you and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.